Hello all, welcome back to another quick learning. Today we're going back to Code Signal to work on the Python uh, coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of the playlist and you want to start from the beginning, I'll put a link in the description below so you can click that and go there if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to the arcade, going to Python, and then we were in this section here, complexity of comprehension. Um, so these are ones that are most likely list comprehension examples. And then we're on number 31, construct shell. So we have to implement the missing code here, which is already showing. Um, so a 2D list LST of size 2 times n minus 1 is called a shell if it is filled with zeros that have the following configuration. So the zero element contains one element. Uh, so it's easier to just uh, look at this example instead. So for n equals 3, uh, the middle part is going to be an element of 3 long. And then to get to that, you got one of one element and then two elements. And then from the third one, you go to two elements and then down to one element. So this is kind of the structure they want. Uh, so if you had four, there'd be a, this line would be four, and then it would go down to three, two, one, etc. So what we have here is a list, and then we have lists of varying sizes within that list, um, and all the elements are zero. So how can we return that in one line of code? So the first thing we have to know is how many times we have to repeat this. So they give you that clue here in the first sentence here. They say of size 2 times n minus 1. So here we're going to go from range. So we're going to start with 1. If you don't specify 1, it'll start with 0 uh, in Python. So we're going to start from 1 and we're going to go to 2 times n. Uh, so we're going to go to 2 times n because it's not going to include the last element uh, that we specify in the range. So actually this 2 times n minus 1 will be the last element that it runs. So it's going to run, uh, so for 3 it's going to run uh, 5 times. Uh, through this, it's like a for each loop, but we're just doing it in a list comprehension. All right. So. And then within that, so the code that we're going to run within this list of comprehension, you know, it's a list comprehension because we've got the brackets on the outside here. And then for each uh, x within this range, you can choose i or j or whatever you want. Um, you'll see in different code, people prefer different letters. But so what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, this list 0. And then if we multiply that by some number, it will repeat that 0. Uh, as many times as that number. So we have to repeat it once for the first, two for the second, three for the third, uh, and then two, and then one. So how do we do that? Uh, so we're using a min function. So it's going to be min of x or two times x minus n. Sorry, two times n minus x. So what does that do? So in the first line, so this, remember it's starting with one we specified that here. So this would be 1 for x. So it's either going to be the min of x or 2 times, uh, this case, 3. 2 times 3 is 6, minus 1 is 5. So the min there is 1. So it's going to show 1, 0. For the second line, it's going to be min of 2, because we're moving on to the next integer in this range. So 2 or it's going to be 2 times 3, which is 6, minus 2, which is 4. So it's going to be 2, the less of those. And then for this one, it's going to be the same number on both. So it's going to be 3 for x, or it's going to be 6 minus 3, which is 3. And in this case, when we get past this middle section, uh, we're actually going to be using this part of the min function. So this is going to be 6 minus 4, which is going to be 2, so we're going to get that 2 times, and then it would be 6 minus 5, which is going to give us 1. So that's how we get that kind of triangular uh, uh, display of these lists. So if we run that, you can see that that's correct. So you can see for 5, it goes up until it gets to 5, and then it starts decreasing. So that's how you can make it uh, 
work for any number you put in and you'll get that kind of triangular uh, list within a list. Alright, hope you guys were able to follow along with that. I hope you join me for future videos. Thank you very much.